Hello, Simon Butler here, recording this video at Whitgift School in South London, where I've just spent this morning working with a large group of the uh, upper sixth boys, helping them to develop their communication skills, particularly for interviews, but also more widely. Because it's a life skill, isn't it? The ability to communicate with clarity and confidence, it's a life skill. And of course, one of the key challenges in a competitive interview environment is to stand out. And there are things that we can do to give ourselves a better chance of, uh, if you like, communicating our uniqueness or our distinctiveness more effectively. Uh, walking down one of the corridors in the school today, uh, like many schools across the country, I've been in well over 100 schools over the years, um, I, of course there were lots of photographs of the boys that are engaged in different um, activities, in music, in sport, in, in drama and, and, and other things, yeah, very, you know, school prefects, all sorts of different photographs. And one of the photos caught my eye. Actually, it's a pair of photographs in a joint frame, and, it's, and it showed two of the boys' hockey teams, under 16 and under 18 level. And underneath was a caption that said, Whitgift is the only school to twice win at both under 16 and under 18 level in boys' indoor hockey. And it's some real, there's a real lesson to be learned here around how to craft and communicate a distinctive position. Notice the number of characteristics or criteria around being the only school, right? Boys, indoor, hockey, at both under 16 and under 18 level, winning twice. Right, that's five criteria that help to uh, refine the positioning so you can be more distinctive. So often people think, oh well, um, they only think about one criteria. It'd be like me saying, right, am I the only person who delivers sessions on presentation skills? Well, absolutely not. There's thousands of people that do that in this country alone. How many of them do it full time? Well, not so many actually, and have done for more than a decade. Well, not really, that's not so many people who are practicing keynote speakers as well. Well, that's definitely getting to quite a small number of people. In my generation, in my age bracket, with experience working in business schools with blue chip clients, as well as working in the world of public life uh, and in education with that kind of broad client uh, set, I know from having done my research on this, that's down to a very, very small number of people. And if you keep adding little bits of criteria around your distinctiveness, you will get to a point sooner or later where you become the only, the only one. So it's something to consider. If you're needing to differ differentiate yourself, consider what criteria would you have to put in place? Chances are it'll be more than one but it will enable you to position yourself if you wish, if you're willing to put some effort into think, digging deep to position yourself or your organisation as the only. If you're watching this anywhere other than my website, check out simonbucknell.com, my digital home online, or if you're on LinkedIn, then let's uh, follow me there, it'd be nice to connect, and or, if you can, leave a comment below or a thumbs up. Speak soon.